right across the street from my house at one of these dams. Let's see what happens. GoPro just shut off. We got it back on. First fish of the day. One little smallie there. Out here on this dam. On my spinner. A little jig. A little curly tail. First fish of the day here. A little smallie. First cast on the jig and he hit it. A little tiny guy, probably not. Maybe on a bed over there, I doubt it. He probably ain't spawning at all this year. He's probably too small. I don't know though. Last year I always caught little little guys out of here. So small they just rip your jig down, skirt it. There's some big ones in here, but I always catch little ones. <laughs> but it is spring. Big ones tend to be pretty active. better one than that last one. No, oh, just a little guy. A little tiny Jimmy. Still a fish. Smally nonetheless. Cool. Catching on my little curly tail on the spinner. A lot of fun. Got my waders on today. The water's not really that cold, but this makes it a lot more comfortable than being like soaking wet. And I really don't have any footwear that I really got that I want to wear into this river. So I'm wearing my waders. I wish I had them on yesterday, but yeah, it's a better one. A lot better one. Hard to tell. There's a lot of rocks down there. They're tugging around. Oh yeah, it's a bit better one. What's our Nice, little smally, little guy, this is small, I mean, for what you'll see me catch in this season, if you watch in my other videos, this is probably like a 10 incher, 12 incher, catch all, you can just catch these all day in this little hole, I know at the end over there on the other side I've caught some tanks, in the fall I catch some tanks right here, Another little smallie. There you go, buddy. Catch you again later. We're about football field away from my house. That's about perfect. Perfect judgment. 100, 100 yards football field from my house right now. Shit you not. Just come over here and get my fix. Get some bites. I'm about to be going into my paradise, so first time this year is a big deal. I got my... Take one more. Alright, here we are, across the river from my house. And it's probably the earliest I've actually ever tried to come out here. If you don't get out here to like June. I was afraid this water would be like still too high, but I've actually never seen it this low, not even in late summer. Usually this is a raging little stream. And it's known to have browns in it. There ain't a lot going on in there no more. I'm hoping to find a bedded bass if there's any spawning around this region. They were spawning out at that other river about four miles from here yesterday, so likely we might find some pre-spawners or some spawners. 
right now I'm gonna chuck out this crank right here looks good search bait it six cents square bill a blue crush Waiter. Only 40. Yeah, I bet you there's some spawners in here. It's a windy ass area. Hooked into a nice one on the crankbait first cast. Alright, so I just had that big bite first cast of this crankbait. It felt the hooks, it's gone. That's how I searched it out. But I know it's down there cast right there with this jig and hopefully sit there for a few oh. got her yes nice bass hell yeah don't jump nice bass oh yeah Nice, nice, very nice, come on girl, stay out of the rocks, heck yes, nice, nice 15, 16 inch here there, caught on that jig, more than likely the one I had just hooked on that crankbait, the search bait. Nice. There you go, Sweet. Oh, there's bigger ones in here. First, I just want to try one more different, different angle on this hole. specimen right there on the crankbait in the same hole just needed to try a different angle is all so they call it angling I got you I got this rubber net so it helps their slime coat and minimizes the line twist knotted up hooked up Not sure if I was recording for that hookup. It's a very nice smallie. Let's get her going. There she goes. Right under there. Oh, there she is. Look at her right there. It's nuts. Wow. 
wow. I don't know if that's a tank or he's just in the current in the rocks. That's a nice one, dude. Three nice bass I have got out of here. That's the biggest one of the day. Don't spit it. Yes. Nice. That's why I like that net. So I'm using this little jig. I tend to spit it or that hook just bends really cheap that's the fattest one i got today no doubt out of here just getting ready to head out go up to another section farther down three nice ones out of here usually this is a small hole with some small ones don't get me wrong i've caught some nice ones out of here but I'm actually a little surprised it's pre-spawner right there I've actually never been back here this early in the year and I've done very well so far. Hit only one pool. Big bite. Damn. That was a fat bite. You see my rod tip just go boom. Didn't even unskirt my jig. Man, I hope she'll bite again. There it is. I got her. Pull it out of the rocks. I got her. Come here, girl. that fish is from living over under that tree that's my favorite catch right there catching them bass like that wow she looks almost dead 
Wow, I have never caught a smallmouth that white. Look at that thing. First cast right up under this tree over here. This is a fish that's lived in here probably its whole life. This guy literally looks dead. Come on, buddy. That hook just came right out of his mouth. Look at that bat. Look at that small mouth. Oh my god. Look how white he is. I just caught her living in here. One cast right there. Boom. And no more I hit the bottom and I felt a, a bite. Set the hook. That is nuts. Doesn't look too healthy, but it probably just lives in there. Probably doesn't get no sun in here. That was nuts. Thank you, Great Spirit. Gotta get a picture of that one. Sorry, girl. One cast. First cast in here. Walked down a couple hundred feet. I mean, probably not. 30 feet from where I just hooked that big one with a crankbait. I didn't want to spook anything with the crankbait. Hey, look at this. Let me just chuck this jig in there and get the job done. First cast right under that tree right over there. Cast it right there. Right in them bubbles. Boom. But look how white this smallie is. I haven't seen a smallie that white probably ever in my life. It's nuts. That was a nice catch. Kind of a rare catch too. I haven't caught a bass that white, a smallie that white before. Probably because it lives right there. I know that don't get no sun because I've never seen sunshine in there. And I've never caught anything that size in here. I've never fished in this spot this early in the year. I usually fish in here in like late June, July. They're all spawning, you know, the big ones hitting that colder water. That's how it's done. Now we got about a week of warm weather. If we get a week of warm weather like this, I'll come out here and they'll, you know, they'll do their cycle. Be some eggs here soon. And we'll have some beds. I'm gonna put my camera on. Oh, nuts, nuts. Ah. Damn, out of the same little pocket right here. I just smoked another one on the crankbait. The bait caster. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that really. I kept sitting there chatting. I almost fell forward. Cause I'm kind of hanging on this rock right here. It's not easy jimmying around two fishing poles. Let's get this guy out. He's a good one. He's not as big as that last one. But she smoked it right there. Figured something might hit up there, if anything. On the crankbait, baby. Yeah, Ooh, chill, chill. Simple, easy. No harm, no foul. Nice small mouth right there. Another one caught right in here. In like two foot of water. That one I got on the crankbait. There you go, girl. Goes. Should have let her go a little easier, but I thought she'd flop down and I'd be able to watch her go. These are good rod and reels. See that? I just put them both to work, man. I just used my spinner for my jig and landed first cast that nice bass. Threw in this crankbait, caught another one right behind it. Instead of tying on another lure, which you probably wouldn't do, you'd probably keep chucking that jig in there and like nothing else is gonna hit it and you'd move along but no I already had another lure tied on and I caught two fish 
Now, if I had three poles, you could just, you know, just more poles, more fish, honestly. That's why pros have like 10 rods and reels on their boats at all times. Now I'm waiting, so I figure this is all I need is a search bait and a jig. One for top water or middle, and then your jig, you know, for the bottom. It's finesse fishing, I really working them holes. Once I get that bite on that search bait, and I wear them out on that, I'll send in that jig and clean up, finesse them, get that last one that didn't bite on that. Or if they bite on your search bait and don't commit, and it bites it and lets it go and it's done you can't get it again send in that jig right behind it or whatever you got tied on like drop shot creature bait texas rig something something with some finesse to it and seal the deal that's what i do that's what a lot of guys do and whatever you're comfortable with it's whatever you're co most confident with Took a little break, let the GoPro charge up a little bit. I'm getting kind of tired. It's Seven o'clock. I want to hit this last pool over here, though. Oh man, I just noticed there's a goose sitting right there. A couple of them, actually. I was just gonna go over there and hit that hole, but I might not bother them if they got a nest right there. That might be the probably the nicest looking fish of the day. First cast straight into here. I was just out on that point trying to catch a fish. Didn't get nothing. Came right over here. First cast of that crankbait. Look at that beautiful specimen. Most likely a uh, female. Caught it on that uh, six cents blue crush. Square bill crankbait. She ain't huge, but it's beautiful. This is a good bass. 
Oh no! Fuck, I seen that hook coming out of that bass. 